The game three starter for Washington, Max Scherzer, on in relief here in the fifth inning. Well, throw out game those five. throw out those season numbers, pacing around that infield before he was to face Bryant right here. You might see 100 miles an hour from Max tonight. He did this with the Tigers in 2013. Come out of the pen in a relief role in a playoff game. Game number four when the Tigers were facing elimination. Got the win. On the ground to short. One up, one down. <laughs> got him on the mound, got him on the board. Cubs did this yesterday with with their ace lefty. Finished second in the Cy Young Award to Scherzer last year. John Lester went three and two thirds. I don't know if they need as much from Max, but they need at least two. Inside Rizzo tried to hold up. 0 and 1. Got a piece of the bat. This is what you'd have if Max Scherzer was your closer. In the air to center field, Taylor goes back short of the track. Two down. Scherzer has that. Condition called heterochromia that results in the different colored eyes. The right eye blue, the left eye brown. Was battling that hamstring injury late in the season. Said he was going to be okay, just needed to eat more bananas to keep from cramping. Just monkeys never cramp. There's Contreras. Started this offseason with a problem with the knuckle on his throwing hand. Then he had neck pains that he had to see a chiropractor for. Then he got hit in the calf with a line drive. And then the hamstring tweak. No balls and a strike. When we spoke before the game, too, he, he referenced the All Star game. He said it's very similar because. This game would fall just like the All-Star game would. He said, so look, I know I've got something to give. It's just a question of how much. How many pitches do I have to throw? He hasn't thrown many here in the fifth. To short. Flagged down by Turner, but he'll never get it. Infield single for Contreras, and now Joe Madden will go to his bench. And Ben Zobrist will pinch it. 0 2 pitch supposed to be away and up. Caught too much of the plate. A Contreras who has good speed, even though Turner got to the ball, beats that easily. Good play by Zimmerman. Come off the bag, just block it. Don't take a chance on the ball going into the dugout. Now Zobris is the guy who broke up the no hit bid in game three with a ringing double off Scherzer. He bats for Al Mora here in the fifth. So his average might be low, a 214 career against Scherzer, but he's got a lot of damage with the three home runs. Contreras not much of a lead at first as Zobris waits on an 0 1. <laughs> 41,000 thought that was good enough. But Jerry Lane did not. All on a strike. 
Boy, good fastball there from Scherzer. He could have called it. He will him. One and two. Now there's coming off the bench to pinch hit. And there's coming off the bench to pinch hit against Max Scherzer. Which is where Ben Zobris finds himself right now. Behind him the count, one and two. Is more max effort, pardon the pun, than Max Scherzer. Two balls, two strikes, two outs. Scherzer's got to get two innings, maybe three, with the lead for the Nationals. Ryan Madsen threw 27 pitches in yesterday's game. Throw over, and Zimmerman had to come off the bag to backhand it. Max, when he spins, he's got quick feet, but he likes to lob that ball over to first. Remember, the Nationals also have one more starting pitcher down in that bullpen, Tanner Roark, if they needed to go to him also. Roark waiting his turn if it indeed comes here in game five. Scherzer continues to work on Zobrist, the World Series MVP a year ago. Looper to left center field, and that's going to fall. So runners at first and second with two down. What an excellent job by Ben Zobrist. Faced the toughest of pitches in that at bat, and still able with two strikes to put the ball in play. And find a hole. MVP indeed. Sometimes your job is to get the big tip, big hit. Sometimes your job is to just keep the line moving. And Zobris did just that. To give Addison Russell a shot. Tying run out there at second. Is Wilson Contreras. Russell has walked and grounded out. A bullet. Fair ball down the line. Into left field. Contreras comes around to score. Here comes Ben Zobrist. The throw will be late, and the Cubs have taken the lead off Max Scherzer. Addison Russell denied by the wind in yesterday's game of a two run home run comes up with a two run double and two RBIs just out of the reach of Anthony Rendon. And once it got down on that corner, it allowed the veteran Zobris to score the go ahead run. Addison Russell, three RBIs tonight, and the reaction from that Cubs bench. Ryan and Rizzo had gone quietly to Scherzer here in the fifth. Contreras, an infield single. Zobris pinch hitting. Found a spot in left center and dropped one in. And then Russell smoked one down the line to score them both. 
you make these moves in a games with a game with Max Scherzer. They're supposed to be foolproof. They're not. Here's Hayward. He's 0 for 2. Rounded out with the bases loaded his first time. And he struck out with a runner at third in the third. Another chance with a runner in scoring position for Hayward here in the fifth. Last year, the Cubs all season long were the best team, most wins, and kind of winning the World Series reaffirmed them as the, the year's best team. But that's not what the postseason does, as Jason Hayward now will be intentionally a walk. 92 wins this year. What the postseason does now, it identifies the champion, which can be different than the team that has the best six months. Much has happened through four full innings of play as we play into the fifth. Who knows what the rest of this night holds, but it's been an offensive explosion the way the previous four games in this series have gone. Here's Baez. Baez is one of those hitters that so aggressive can be so impatient at times but the harder you throw it and the more you throw it for strikes the better chance he has of putting the bat on it. He's swinging when he gets off the team bus here. Doesn't have a hit against Scherzer 0 for 5. Tommy Lastella's grabbed a bat. He's in the on deck circle. Right three, but the ball gets away. And Baez no. is going to be safe at first. And a run is going to score. Here comes Russell. Runners are at second and third. As strike three got away. I think Weeders is asking the umpires to come and confirm this. I think he thinks Baez got a piece of that ball. And that was a foul tip that went back to the the backstop. Let's see the swing and see if we see any contact but Baez on the slider. Can't tell. I would say probably not. Just a, a miss by by Weeders. Weeders reacted like the ball wasn't ticked. Baez reacted like the ball wasn't ticked. And I think the play is going to stand. When we looked at that super slow mo, trying to look just for a change in the rotation of that ball, and didn't see it. There was no change in rotation. And you can tell ball players by what, the, how they react. What happens is when you react, you see the backswing catches him on the side of the helmet there. He's saying that being hit by the bat is going to make it a dead ball. I, I've never heard of that. But the reaction from Weeders to go get the ball and from Baez to sprint to first tells you that Baez did not make contact. That's the rub of the green kind of deal and, and getting that backswing hitting you in the helmet. After the dust had settled, runners at second and third, another run in. That's three in the inning off Max Scherzer. And here's Tommy LaStella pinch hitting. Ernst, really the play for Weeders there. 
was not to throw the ball at first at all. There was a runner coming around third base. Should have just walked it to the plate, been comfortable with the bases loaded, and give Max a chance to get out of this inning. Especially when he had to go all the way to the screen to retrieve that, and Baez on the dead run to first. And, and the reason I say that is that even if he threw, when he threw it down to first, there was no, no one covering home. Max Scherzer was not close. He wouldn't have got the home in first. The runner would have scored anyway. Fastball and an E2 if you're keeping a book at home. And even if you're not, that's the score. <laughs> wow, what an inning it has been. Addison Russell. Big hit, scores a run. Scherzer up to 23 pitches. After getting through Bryant and Rizzo, Ronnie, to start the inning. It's just, uh, you, you just think that when you map these games out as a manager, there's certain things you can do that put you in a power position. If you're Dusty Baker, and you're going to bring in Max Scherzer, then you think he's going to be lights out for two innings because he's lights out each and every time he makes a start. Doesn't always work that way this time of year. Ball and a strike to La Stella. I think that was catcher's interference now on Matt Weeders if you want to keep adding to this inning. Let's see the catcher's interference. Late swing. Catches the glove, absolutely. I mean, how crazier can you get in this inning for Matt Weeders and the Nationals? Jacoby Ellsbury leads the world in that category. La Stella gets on this time. We have seen just about everything in this half inning, the top of the fifth. John Jay, top of the order. As the Cubs have hit around against Scherzer. The history of this franchise in the postseason has been nightmare final games at this ballpark. This inning has become another one. Forty one thousand here on their feet screaming as Scherzer trotted in from the bullpen to begin the fifth. Three runs by the Cubs have silenced them. It's six to four. Scherzer comes in the Cubs bat around. Inside and he hit him. And that'll force in a run. I guess we hadn't seen everything. No, we have. Now we have. Dusty Baker's not sure. He's asking if he if he uh, John Jay had swung on the pitch. No, he did not. It's fair to ask. That's what you have to do as a manager, but Jay did not swing. He was hit with that ball. And you can see the bat did never fall, did not follow through. I mean, this just becomes a case where everything has just imploded for these nationals here in the fifth inning. A strikeout, pass ball, error on the catcher, catcher's interference, hit by pitch. Three straight hits against Max Scherzer after two outs. I mean, Weeders is out the mound, talk to Max. Doesn't look like he knows what to say. Max doesn't look like he knows what to do. Tanner Roark has now joined. Sammy Solis. I mean, 
there's nothing to say. Got to get Chris Bryant out here and start again. That's how Scherzer began the inning. Got Bryant to ground out to short. Got Rizzo to fly to center. Hasn't gotten anybody out since. Looper behind short. Turner is back and makes the play. But the Cubs rally. They get to Scherzer right between the eyes.